Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Treviso, Italy at the Adidas Europe Camp with Ionis Papapetru of Olympiacos. How is uh, Treviso treating you? It's uh, pretty nice. Uh, a lot of uh, NBA coaches and uh, people who have uh, known basketball and uh, it's a great experience. Great experience to play, compete with these guys, uh, other players all over Europe and meet, meet experienced guys like those NBA coaches and the scouts. So why did you decide to play here? Was it a difficult decision for you? No, I mean, I was trying to play here. Uh, it was kind of a thing uh, uh, with my team. Uh, I was trying to get them to let me play here, uh, hopefully, and, uh, and uh, finally they allowed me to come. And uh, I came to play. I wanted, I wanted to compete with those guys. You know, it was a great experience. I've always heard about the camp, and I wanted to be here. What has it been like so far on the court, off the court? Great. Uh, on the court, uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, in the mornings, we did a lot of drills, uh, kind of uh, get introduced to some uh, stuff, uh, drills, and uh, working in, in the teams that they separate us. And in the afternoon, uh, played a little bit, uh, compete with those guys on the court uh, as a team. And then the All Star game, uh, I played. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. For people who are watching this video that might not know you, what can you tell us about yourself uh, as a player? Uh, I feel like I'm. Uh, I'm a player who uh, brings energy in the team. I like to, to compete and uh, play in a fast tempo, on a fast break. Uh, and um, the biggest thing to me is winning. You know, uh, I feel like uh, every team I play, uh, if I can do certain stuff for my team to win, anything that is asked for me to do or I feel like in the game I have to do to win, it's the biggest thing for me. You know, uh, winning and uh, as a player, when my career is over, I want to say that uh, I won trophies. You know, that's the best thing for me. What was your role this year for Olympiacos? I know you started off not playing a lot, and as the year moved on, you seemed like you got better and better. Uh, I started off with some injuries. Uh, I had broken my nose in uh, two parts in the beginning of the season. Came back, had back problems, and uh, just because I was out for two months with my nose, and uh, came back, and I wasn't that, uh, my body wasn't that strong and ready. Uh, so as the year went by, I tried to work harder and harder. Uh, have twice do more practice as the other guys because I wasn't playing and I knew at one point I'm going to get some playing time, my chance, they call it a chance in Europe so after this I got my chance, I played, I got some more minutes, great experience being next to uh, guys like Spanulis and guys like uh, 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 great experienced players in Europe, I learned a lot from them, uh, I know I'm still young and I'm still learning and uh, not just on the court, I have the court just looking at these guys, how they go about their business, it was great. How difficult of a decision was it for you to leave Texas and, and, and go pro only after one season in college? Uh, really difficult. I uh, thought about it a lot. Uh, you know, it wasn't about, for me, it was about the chance. Uh, I, would, I didn't want to leave college, but uh, I wanted to finish my education. But the certain situation that I, I was with my family, I, wouldn't, I had set the priorities at that moment. And uh, Olympiacos offered me uh, a good deal, uh, not just money-wise, but the thing for me was uh, to get a chance to be able to play and see that the team that want to get me have a plan for me to play and develop as a player. So I saw that in Olympiacos staff. I know I know they've been developing players and uh, helping them get better. So it, it got a lot of easier. I started off difficult, but it got a lot of easier. Do you think? This decision helped or hurt your NBA chances, and th does that matter at all to you? I mean, uh, uh, it really doesn't matter uh, in, in a way that uh, wherever I am, whatever I do, uh, you got to take a decision in your life. Uh, I took a decision. Uh, I'm fully supporting it right now. I'm playing Olympiacos, trying my best to uh, be the best player I can. If I can go to the league, uh, you know, it's my dream. But I don't know if it hurt me or it, it helped me. Hopefully, it helped me, you know, hopefully. I mean, you played against much better competition than you would have in college. Uh, you played against Real Madrid in the EuroLeague playoffs. I mean, these are experiences that you probably you could not have gotten playing at Texas this year. Sure, sure. Uh, this was one of the reasons that I wanted to play in uh, Europe. You know, I wanted to get that experience a lot earlier than other guys. Because uh, usually players uh, finish college, if they don't make it to the NBA, they go back to Europe. They get experiences like this when they're 22, 23, 24 years old. I was 19 when I played against Real Madrid. so. I felt like I was young and I can learn from this stuff and now next year I'm moving forward. It's more experienced and I've already seen what it looks like, so now I'm, I feel more ready. Did you follow at all what happened with Texas this year? Did you, did you watch any of the games? What was that like? What were the emotions like watching them this year? Of course, I was, uh, it was uh, tough for me to watch them. Uh, I wanted to be there. 
Uh, I love all the guys over there uh, talking about head coach coach Rick Barnes. Helped me a lot. And uh, it was hard for me to leave and hard for me to watch them. But those guys understand the reason why I left. And uh, it was a good year for them. They bounced back. They made it to the tournament. Uh, the year that I was there, we didn't make it to the tournament. So they went to the second round. And I feel like, you know, Texas kind of rebuilding. But uh, it's, it's, going, it's getting better and better. And uh, I feel like those guys made it happen. And they're going to get better. And hopefully next year, go further and further. What kind of uh, three-point shooter are you right now? Um, I'm pretty confident about my three-point shooting, uh, especially when I feel my legs, you know, uh, not heavy, and uh, when my legs are rested. Uh, I'm pretty confident in my three-point shot, uh, especially coming off dishes of other guys, uh, coming off screens, and if guys can find me, uh, I know that uh, I can knock down some shots. But uh, you know, and again, uh, I'm trying to do everything I can in the court just to help my team win. What about your perimeter defense? I feel like I got better a lot. Uh, so not just that I got faster or stronger. I don't think it's about this athleticism. It's about uh, mentally uh, being ready. Comes a little bit with experience. So just looking at guys in, in Olympiacos, the way they go about defense and the way they position themselves, positioning to me on defense got a lot better this year. And uh, you know, I, I get myself out of trouble a lot of times just by being in the right position. Uh, I feel like it's uh, really important to play defense, and I'm trying to do my best in defense. Play good defense as you run transition. I like I like this kind of game. You've played a lot of power forward in your career, especially growing up um, at the youth categories. Do you feel like you're a natural small forward, or do you think you can play both? You like playing both? Uh, it's not to me. Power forward is not my position. I don't see it as like it's my position. Uh, and again, I'm going to play any position my coach asks me to play, but. Uh, Growing up, I was a point guard in Greece, really skinny, uh, kind of crafty guy, got to the U.S., worked my body a lot, became more physical, became stronger, realized that guys are really short in the point guard, so I moved to the two, I moved to the three. I play the two and the three right now. In a small lineup, I can play the four also, but I enjoy playing the two and the three. I like, you know, uh, playing the perimeter. How much of a goal is it for you to play in the NBA, not necessarily immediately, but in a few years down the road? Is it something that you really feel like you, you want to do to be successful in your career? Yeah, of course. It's, it's in my dream. It's my dream. I've always wanted to go to the NBA. Uh, when I was 15, I took a decision to go to high school in USA. I told my dad I, I want to go to the NBA, and then uh, I wanted to go to high school, wanted to go to college, and then hopefully make it to the NBA. It's my dream, and uh, hopefully I'll get there one day. Uh, for now, you know, I'm Olympiacos. I have a contract for the next two years. Uh, I can't leave. I have no buyout. But for me, uh, it's a dream. It's really a dream that I hope becomes reality. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you.